Hey everybody, The Real Deal here. I am here with Tyrion Lannister. Uh, I am going to go ahead and show you the entire Series 3 of the Game of Thrones Funko Mystery Minis. I've got all 12 of the regular figures and then all three of the Hot Topic exclusives. So, um, the nice thing with this set is all of the figures are 1 in 12 rarity. So that means if you get a case, you should get the whole series. And then of course, if you go to Hot Topic, you have a pretty good shot at getting the Hot Topic exclusives. Um, they're not as hard to find as some of the other ones. Sometimes the Hot Topic exclusives are one in 24 or one in 36 or one in 72, which means they're one in every six cases. So they can be impossible to track down unless you pay a lot of money on eBay. In this case, um, they're all one in 12. They can still, after a while, be tough to find because Hot Topic only carries uh, them for a little while. Uh, before they sell out of them. Uh, so if you're looking for hot, the Hot Topic exclusives, I would say grab them now. It's probably your best bet. We'll, we'll get to those. I'm getting ahead of myself there. Uh, I want to show you the whole set because I think they're cool looking. Uh, of course, starting with Tyrion here, Tyrion Lannister, my favorite character on the show, a lot of people's favorite character. Uh, always has something witty to say, always uh, has a great comeback, uh, can talk his way out of just about any situation. Um, and he is just a really cool character, and it's awesome that he met up with uh, Daenerys. Spoiler alert, by the way, if you're not caught up with Game of Thrones, uh, the Battle of the Bastards just aired uh, as I'm filming this. Amazing, amazing episode, by the way. So uh, I'll probably slip into some spoilers. So if you haven't caught up, uh, come back when you have, because I don't want to ruin anything for you, because you shouldn't have anything ruined on the show. So anyway, we spent a lot of time with Tyrion here uh, as I was giving you my little explanation. So we'll put him... Uh, aside there. Uh, one of my other favorite characters we've got here is Arya. Um, she's got the little clam there. I think from when she was pretending to sell them so she could actually really, you know, kill somebody. Um, she winds up killing Marin Trent. Uh, just uh, awesome character. Um, I'm glad her whole Bravos thing is done. Um, you know, I'd like to see where they go with her. Is she going to go back to Winterfell maybe and reunite with Jon and Sansa? Who knows, that would be pretty neat. They have started bringing some characters together that haven't seen each other in a very long time. So it would be nice to get Arya back into the fold and to start interacting with some of the other characters that we know and love. Um, and this is a pretty neat figure. They got her in her cool hairdo there and everything. So um, then we've got uh, Daenerys here. And she's got her white gown on there. She's pretty happy, although she will definitely kick your ass if she needs to um, with her dragons and everything. She's just a really cool character. Uh, these, by the way, their heads or anything, they don't, they don't really move. So just so you know. Um, and the reason I showed you these three characters first is because these three uh, characters, oh, they all had figures in previous sets. So these are just kind of new uh, variants on those characters there. I think the rest of these guys, if I'm not mistaken, have not had any figures in any of the first two sets or the in memoriam set. So I'll, I'll point that out if I've made a mistake. So now his head moves and everything. I guess some of their heads move, some don't, or maybe I just didn't turn her head hard enough. Who knows? Uh, this is Ramsey, Ramsey Snow, later Ramsey Bolton. Um, and he is a big part of Battle of the Bastards. Again, spoiler alert, if you haven't seen Battle of the Bastards, Oh my God, how satisfying was the end of that where he gets completely torn apart by his hounds. Uh, again, I told you, spoiler alert, sorry. Super awesome. Awesome to see Sansa get her revenge. Really happy to see this character get what was coming to him. Because uh, a lot of times the bad guys on this show do not get what's coming to them. So uh, really, really, really satisfying. Awesome battle, awesome episode. Um, and we, we won't miss you, Ramsey, sorry. Um, but this is a cool figure. And there you go. And the nice detail on his vest and everything there. So we got good old, uh, good old Ramsey Bolton. Okay. Now, who else we got in here? We've got Jorah. Should have showed you him right after Daenerys, right? Because they go together. Uh, so uh, poor Jorah's got the grayscale there. Hopefully he will find a cure. Who knows? It's been done before. Um, and awesome, you know, yellow and blue and everything. Really, really nice looking figure there. 
very cool and a cool character. So we'll see how things turn out for uh, for Jora. Probably not well. <laughs> it is Game of Thrones after all. All right, just lay down, whatever. You don't want to stand up. Um, then we've got one of the Sons of the Harpy there. Uh, also a big problem for Daenerys. Uh, although in this last episode, I think she pretty much took care of things with her dragon. I don't know that these guys are really going to be too much of a problem anymore. Um, so, but there you go with the cool gold mask with the horns and everything. Really cool looking figure. All right. So you got the Sons of the Harpy. I think because this tablecloth is folded. Oh, I was trying to stand them all up for you, but it never seems to work out too well. All right, now who else do we got? We got Varys. Uh, also a really neat character. I love his friendship that he has with Tyrion on the show. Uh, it'll be interesting. He, he went off to do kind of a mysterious errand, so who knows what that's all about. Um, you know, I'm sure we'll get some answers to some of our questions in the season finale. Uh, and I'm sure there will be a lot of questions for the next couple seasons. Uh, I think the show is going to wrap up in another two or three seasons. And they're going to have, uh, I think, less than ten episodes a season. So, kind of sucks. I mean, I, I, I guess it's good. I don't want the show to really, like, run out um, its course where it's just kind of like, you know, has filler episodes and stuff like that. So... I'd rather it end on a high, but um, it's going to be hard to let that show go. It's a really awesome show. So, um, but you know what? If they have a definitive story to tell, end it before it just goes on and on forever and gets stupid. So you've got uh, you got Braun there with his raised eyebrow. Um, really another awesome looking figure, awesome character that's on the show. Uh, had a cool little scene with Podrick recently in, in the last, uh, not the last episode, but the episode before when they're outside the Blackfish's castle and everything. Um, so, or Casterly Rock or wherever they are. Um, is that Casterly Rock where the Blackfish was at? I think so. I don't remember. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, but, awesome character. And now we've got a little Bronn mystery mini to add to our Game of Thrones collection there. So, cool looking guy. All right. All right. So, we've got a few more here. Uh, we've got the Night King. Alright, and he is causing all sorts of problems for Jon Snow, for Bran. Um, so I think he is going to be the big bad of the entire show. And they, they, I guess the show is leading towards a big showdown between uh, the, the Night King and his White Walkers and uh, the Undead. And of course the, the humans and everything. So we'll see how that goes. That's... Something that's going to be real interesting to see how that all plays out. So, um, very cool Night King figure. We have White Walker figures and everything from previous sets, so cool that we got the actual Night King to go with it there. Um, so, all right. Now, these last three, I saved these three for last because these are the three figures that were removed from the Hot Topic set. So, if you buy these at Hot Topic, these last three figures you're not going to be able to get. you got to get these uh, from some place that's just selling the regular set. So, if you find them at, uh, I don't know, GameStop or Barnes & Noble or wherever it may be, they carry these. But these guys are, are removed so they could put in the three Hot Topic figures. So, the first one is, of course, Sam there, Sam Tarly. Uh, awesome character. It looks like he's got his dragon glass there. Um, I don't know if we'll see him in the season finale. We last saw him fleeing his father. He stole the sword with Gilly. So let's see. Let's see what happens to Sam. But he's he's cool, and he's one of the few decent characters on the show. Um, so all he wants to do is become a maester. Who knows if he'll even do that now. Um, so, but good old, good old Sam in his uh, crow outfit. It is nice to watch outfit. So... Very nice. Um, very cool. So then we've got the red lady here, Melisandre. Um, and she's kind of had a bit of a crisis of conscience of late, right? Because uh, she lost Stannis, but now she's kind of thrown herself fully behind Jon Snow. Um, so she just really needs something to latch on to and believe in. And 
So let's see, let's see what happens with her and how her alliance with uh, with Jon Snow is going to work out. Um, interesting character. There's another Red Lady in play uh, that's supposedly helping Tyrion and Daenerys. I don't know. I don't really trust either of them. Um, so we'll we'll see. We'll see what uh, how that all works out. But this is a really neat looking figure. I like it. So. All right, so we've got the Red Lady. Now, one of my favorite characters, good old Tormund, uh, leader of the Wildlings. Um, and he is, he's just awesome. He's just a really neat character. I love his little unrequited romance he's got for Brienne. Um, of course, he would like this, this tall warrior woman. Um, so I don't think anything will ever come of it, but it was really neat to, to see that happen on the show. Um, and he's an awesome ally for Jon Snow. These people that are supposed to be sworn enemies working together. Um, so it's kind of nice that he's kind of seen how much they, they need each other, uh, for the coming, the coming war because winter is coming. Um, so awesome, awesome character. So that's, uh, the 12 figures in the regular set there. Uh, now we got the Hot Topic exclusives and we've got good old Tywin Lannister. Uh, now, again, he's only available at Hot Topic. We did get a Tywin Lannister bef figure before. Uh, they did a Comic Con exclusive, San Diego, San Diego Comic Con exclusive in memoriam set. And it was just uh, like kind of like black and white or grayish versions of characters, of course, that had died on the show. Um, and Tywin was in there, but this is the first time we're getting a full color actual Tywin Lannister figure. So. The only other figure I think from that set uh, that is exclusive to that set is Renly. There's no Renly Baratheon figure outside of the uh, that in memoriam set. So I'm sure we'll get Renly eventually, but whatever. So there you go. So you got Tywin Lannister, uh, who, who's dead by the way. Sorry, spoiler alert, but I told you at the beginning, spoilers, um, if you haven't seen the show. Uh, and then we've got Marjorie with her big blue eyes. Um, I don't know how things are gonna work out for her. I'm sure we'll find out in the season finale. We've got this trial of Cersei coming up and everything. So let's see how everything works out with the High Sparrow. And I don't know. I don't know what's gonna go down in, in King's Landing, but it's not gonna be good, I am sure. So there you've got your Hot Topic exclusive Marjorie figure. And then, last but not least, uh, we've got the Hot Topic exclusive Stannis Baratheon figure with some really neat looking armor, uh, nice details on this figure here, the cool chain mail and everything, got a cool big sword and everything, so there's good old Stannis, also dead, um, spoiler alert. So uh, there you go. So he is exclusive to Hot Topic. So that's the, the Game of Thrones set here. Uh, I think overall it's a really nice set. Um, I think some of the figures, I think especially Torment here and, and the Red Lady, uh, are really really nice. Jor looks cool. The uh, the the Sons of the Harpy figure um, look really neat. So if you're a Game of Thrones fan, check these out. Uh, I think you'll enjoy them. Hopefully you'll get some some cool ones there. So uh, thank you so much for watching. Uh, I hope you like and subscribe and share. I've got tons of other videos on the channel. I've got a Game of Thrones playlist so you can see the other sets that are out there. And um, what else? There's links in the description of this video to my other stuff. eBay, Facebook, Twitter. I've got a website, realdealunbox.com. So you should check that out too. Sign up for the email list there. That'd be cool. And uh, thank you so much for watching. Keep on collecting.